Next thing I want to discuss is the concept of choke groups. So choke group is basically a function in a sampler to cut off one sound when you play another. This is important for especially like acoustic hits in order to make them sound natural. So let's actually open up an acoustic kit so we can actually show you here. I'm going to use one of these nice Abbey Rhodes kits. Um, let's do this guy. So if we play an acoustic kit, one thing you're going to notice is in order to make acoustic hi-hats sound correct, you have to have them cut each other off like you actually would. So you imagine when you're hitting a hi-hat closed and then you hit it open, that open hi-hat's going to ring until you use the foot pedal to actually close it down again. So it's not going to just keep on ringing once it's closed and you're actually playing it. So if we play a closed hi-hat and then an open hi-hat, it makes no sense for this open hi-hat to actually keep ringing when we hit a closed hi-hat. So what this is is a choke group. And let's actually go into the sampler page. And let's take a look. On this first page, you can see choke group 1. Now let's look in the software here. If I click, you have eight available choke groups to use inside of a kit. And so what's going to happen is both the closed hi-hat and the open hi-hat are on the same choke group. The other one's not necessarily. The um, pedal hi-hat is also on the same choke group. So essentially what you see is this. When I hit this one, it immediately chokes the sound of this one. So it's essentially mimicking a real life situation. And this can be helpful for a lot of things. If you don't want something to just ring out so long, um, let's just look at a new group and specifically a couple samples here. Um, so let's look at kicks analog kicks. Perfect. So something like a nice long 808. Alright, so let's load this guy in. Now if you keep playing these and they're just going to layer on top of each other, you've just totally like sucked up all your headroom from some huge kick sound. Let's go in and load this guy up right next to it. So listen as we play these. That's a bit much. If we put them in the same choke group now, it's going to sound much better. Much more maintainable. So you can do this with all sorts of things. If you want, when you hit a certain kick, it's going to cut off a long sample. Um, however you like, however you like. There's just, it's a really necessary function in a lot of ways.